Uh, this week for Valentine's Day, we've taken you to a flower shop. We've showed you a date night idea at a local pottery studio. Today we're looking at another business that's uh, usually busy around Valentine's that's Day. That's right. Donaldson's Finer Chocolates in Lebanon offer sweets gifts for you and your sweetheart or your loved one now and all through the year. So Randall Newsom went there to check it out. Randall, word is that they're not just popular here in India and the surrounding central Indiana. No, right. not at all. I found that out. So uh, they're not just popular here. They're actually known throughout the state for travelers up and down I-65 and even to some people overseas. So that's pretty crazy. I went to find out what's so special about the chocolate at this family business that has people coming from far and wide and as far as Greenland stopping by to get a taste. Check it out. You always have to get chocolate, you know, taste the chocolate first, and then you'll be hooked. Confidence in the process. The same formula that has made Donaldson's finer chocolates a staple in central Indiana for decades. My mother and father started the business in 1966. I was 11 years old then, so uh, I was a young kid and uh, just had the chance to grow up in a chocolate business. It's more than a business. It's a Donaldson family tradition. We don't really have positions here. <laughs> we don't have titles. <laughs> it's a family business, but also the people that work here become a family. Kathy Donaldson got a taste of the business long before she got married to Bob Donaldson. She started working here when she was 17, laughing when she thinks of the two things she knows how to do best. Being a nurse and making chocolates. <laughs> Over the last 53 years, they've been making chocolate the exact same way, bringing new customers in and old customers back. I do believe they come here for, for the experience because you can see everything made here and everything is chocolates here. That's all we do. Seeing how happy chocolate makes people and um, seeing them enjoy it, the, the chocolate we make is small batch and it's, and it's really good. And we found out a new customer literally could be from anywhere. I remember these maps since I was a kid and used to start out with just an Indiana map and then there was a, a U.S. map and, now, and then the world map showed up. They'll have me from some little tiny island somewhere that I have never heard of. Greenland? Greenland. Yeah, it's not too many people from Greenland. <laughs> a recipe they say you can't measure. Come and see how it's made and the love that's put into it. Carrying on a legacy, George Donaldson held up with pride. My father passed away last year at 90, and he uh, was working actually up to a month before that, so he worked his entire life um, in the chocolate business. I talk to him in the kitchen when it's really busy and things aren't going well. It's like, okay, George, what would you do now? One of the last things he asked me was, Bob, will this business go on? And I assured him, yes, sir, it will go on, Dad. Now as word keeps getting out around the world, the Donaldson family hopes to keep making George proud. It's just a an honor to be able to do that and we'll honor him that way. All right, and uh, I'll have more information on how you can get a hold of these chocolates and learn more about the Donaldson family and their story and their legacy on our website, wishtv.com. And a little later in the show, I'll show you my chocolate making skills. Uh -oh. And uh, Mike already promised earlier today that he would eat what I made. Sure, so I like chocolate. Did you Came bring back it? Out. I did bring it, okay. yes. So I'll, I'll, you I'm brought it and you brought it. Yes, I'm going to go back and grab it. And Mike, yeah, you already promised, so you can't back out now. I, I have no problem trying some chocolate. Cool. <laughs> Good stuff. He's tried just about everything out of my kitchen. Yeah, sure. I think chocolate's going to be a I'm not that picky. Just olives, no olives. <laughs> I got you. No olives in the chocolate. Got you. <laughs>